hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is gonna be about what do people secretly think of you but won't say so pile number one you're going to be the turquoise uh heart crystal pile number two you're going to be the black obsidian heart crystal And pile number two, you're going to be the tree amos heart crystal. And uh, not amos, sorry, tree agate <laughs> heart crystal. So again, pile number one, turquoise heart crystal. Pile number two black obsidian hard crystal and pile number three green agate hard crystal or tree agate okay so pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pal One! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the turquoise heart crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one, what do people secretly think of you but won't say? What do people secretly think of you, my pile number one, but won't say? What do they secretly think of you, but won't say, pile number one? What do they secretly think of you, but won't say? We have third house communication. So people think that you are an amazing communicator. Um, I'm getting like people think that um, secretly think of you as somebody who should be like a motivational speaker maybe people at your workplace feel like you're under um, underpaid and overqualified for like a specific task or a job but I'm getting like um, yeah definitely underpaid okay so what do people secretly think of you we have the seven of pentacles that you are somebody who's extremely patient worth investing in with the seven of pentacles Ooh, nine of cups people secretly think of you as wish fulfillment um that could be like people that who has their uh, who have their eyes on you it could also be people i'm um, getting that wants to be um in a committed relationship with you but also i'm getting like jealous eyes okay so envious here with the nine of cups some people secretly think that you get you have all like everything for you so like people flock to you easily men flock to you easily women flock to you easily um you get a lot of attention from you know same sex opposite sex regardless of your sexual orientation here you are highly desirable with the nine of cups you are people's wish fulfillment that's what they secretly think of you but they won't say okay we have the eight of pentacles they secretly think of you as somebody who is meticulous um somebody who is dedicated very crafty skilled and talented with the eight of pentacles you have amazing work ethics as well this is what i'm getting here with the eight of pentacles especially at, in the workplace people secretly think that of you but they won't say we have the knight of wands people secretly think of you as somebody who's adventurous somebody who's flirtatious romantic somebody who gets a lot like the attention is on you whether you know it or a lot or a lot <laughs> wow or not 
there's a lot of attention on you this is what i'm getting here what do people secretly think of you but won't say what do people secretly think of you but won't say we have the five of cups five of cups speaks of heartbreak regret it could also speak of resentment okay but what i'm getting here with the five of cup is people secretly think of you as someone who shies away from relationship that you might be closed off to relationship due to past trauma or heartbreak or sorrow that you've gone through that you don't want to repeat the cycle this is what i'm getting here that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say especially like with that energy of the five of cups like heartbreak okay this is what i'm getting here we have the six of wands yeah people secretly think of you as somebody who is victorious or somebody who's successful or is destined to be successful or is destined to be in the spotlight because she is on stage i don't know if you guys could see it but the white spots here these are hands like cheering her up and she's on stage you know there's the lighting here so this is what it's giving like people secretly think of you as somebody who is destined for greatness somebody who is destined to be in the spotlight to be recognized okay to be popular as well this is what people secretly think of you but they won't say that's why a lot of them they feel like you're underpaid and overqualified for a specific task we have the ace of pentacles okay people secretly think of you as somebody who brings a lot to the table like i feel like a lot of you may underestimate your skills your talents because it comes to you naturally so you may feel like you're not as good when really you are excellent with the eight of pentacles we also have temperance here so temperance speaks of being balanced sagittarius energy calm cool and collected people secretly think that of you that you have you may have like a nonchalant attitude as well that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say wow we have the emperor here boss energy so you may have aries in your chart people secretly think of you as somebody who could be a leader you have amazing leadership skills unshakable will determine you could be a great chess player because i believe this is the king that he has in his hand if you know chess there's the king and the queen and he has that so i'm mean, gonna like maybe some of you are could be chess masters or like you're just really good at playing chess or something like that with the emperor your boss like maybe some of you go to chess tournaments or something like that or maybe your parents are chess masters or something like that this is what i'm getting here and you're and this was passed down to you from your parents okay they taught you how to play chess and chess is really good for uh problem solving but also anticipating you know the challenges and how to overcome them how to outsmart your opponent as well okay like to determine what the next move is going to be so i'm getting like you know you're very um observant that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say we have we have the queen of pentacles people secretly think of you as somebody who's um extremely independent with the queen of pentacles you have your own bag you do your own thing so you don't really depend on other people in order to put you on you put yourself on you use you utilize your skills your talent with the eight of pentacles to make something of yourself okay so some people may think of you as overly independent especially if you are a woman here like they it may come across as if you you're saying you don't need a man or like you could do all good without a man like you know but i'm not getting that vibe i'm getting like more like i got my own bag i need a man that's going to bring his own bag as well it's not like i don't need a man it's more like i want an equal partner okay this is what i'm getting from you my pal number one if you are a woman yeah i see the hermit like you spend a lot of time alone um, you're self-sufficient this is what people secretly think of you but they won't say but some people may view it especially people that might be needy they may view it as you being snob or standoffish with the hermit but really it's because you're you're just more quiet you're more laid back you're you know you're more prudent like i said you're extremely observant because the hermit is virgo energy extremely observant you like to analyze the situation before you jump head head on into it okay this is what i'm getting here but you're an amazing team player with the three of pentacles this is what people secretly think of you but they won't say like you show up and when you show up you you show out okay so you're not just there and doing the bare minimum okay people secretly think that of you but they won't say what do people secretly think of you but won't say wow seven of wands people think that you are defensive or closed off with the seven of wands like you have strong boundaries like you don't let just anybody in 
okay? What do people secretly think of you? We have the king of pentacles, king and queen of pentacles. Some people secretly think that you are already in a relationship. This is why you're kind of closed off to others, <laughs> especially the people that are trying to holler at you. <laughs> but I'm getting like, you know, you're financially stable, you're reliable. Some people secretly think of you as somebody who would be like an amazing partner. I just saw the two of cups, they wanted to come out. We have the Wheel of Fortune. People secretly think of you as somebody who is lucky or things just happen for you naturally, especially with the Nine of Cups being here as well, like you being wish fulfillment or getting your wish fulfilled. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? What do people secretly think of you? Wow, Three of Pentacles again, guys. Like you're an amazing team player. And you have an excellent reputation. You're very skilled and talented. Because the Three of Pentacles is also an apprentice. Because you could see this is the apprentice and these are the two teachers showing him how to do it. So you're a great student. Like you are you know how to navigate between being the professor, like the teacher, and then the student. Okay, you're, you don't have an ego where you don't, like you feel like you cannot learn from others. Okay, we have the death card, Scorpio energy. So I'm getting like very transformative, resilient. This is what people secretly think of you, but they won't say with the death card and we now we have the star you could have an aquarius you could have a aquarius in your chart but what i'm getting here with the star we know the star is um always shines brightly you have this healing vibe to you um with the star as well what people secretly think of you is that they think that you're somebody like i said earlier in the reading that you're destined for greatness with the six of wands you're destined you're destined to be on in the spotlight like you know either through becoming like an influencer an artist whatever it is but like in the spotlight in front of other people in front of millions of people not just secluded behind a desk working a nine to five like that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say like they feel like you are not that you're like you know somebody working a nine to five is they're not good because we every aspect of the world like every job is important because it's like an ecosystem we all need each other like we have to work together in order to bring a desired result like everybody has to we have we need doctors we need lawyers we need like you know we need every aspect of like every like business or career wise but where you could best utilize your skills where you could maximum maximize your potential is when you are on stage regardless of this what stage it is where you're helping millions of people People, thousands of people not just like you know secluded to one area okay I hope that makes sense guys but this is what people secretly think of you but they won't say so they feel like your job is not the best job for you because you deserve to be doing something else what do people secretly think of you but won't say we have the three of cups yeah they think that you're very friendly okay because they you don't come off as somebody who's hostile or anything like that it's just more like closed off like reserved but you are friendly because when they talk to you, when they interact with you, is a pleasant experience. This is what I'm getting here with the Three of Cups, okay? So it's not like you're giving people attitude and, you know, you're being rude. Like, people don't say that about you. See, King, Queen of Cups, I'm telling you, you're very pleasant, loving, nurturing. That's what people secretly think of you, but they won't say. What do people secretly think of you? My pal number one. We have the Six of Cups. Wow. You give them like this nostalgic feeling. That's why people always gravitate back to you. They want to talk to you. They want to be around you. But <laughs> because you're closed off a little bit, people are like kind of like with the Seven of Wands, they feel like you you can be a little bit um, snobbish or standoffish because we have the star again, guys. Like it just came up, but I have to cover it because it has nudity on it. But what do people secretly think of you but won't say? And we have the King of Wands now, and I can cover it. So we have the Star and the King of Wands. So with the Star being here twice, this is like, you know, just amplifying, like, you know, quality, like just going over what I just said about you having the Star-like quality, having that je ne sais quoi, that vibe that you're a source of inspiration for a lot of people you're like a muse for a lot of people people just want to be in your energy all the time and i feel like it could be draining for you this is the reason why you are in hermit mode most of the time but with the king of wands people secretly think of you as somebody who is self-assured driven okay a pioneer you set the trends in your workplace in your personal life like even in your neighborhood like you know maybe 
you have this specific routine that you started and you start noticing people in your neighborhood doing the same thing or it could be like something at work that you do or the way that you uh, manage your time because you may have like really good time management skills here with the eight of pentacles and you're starting to notice that people do the same thing okay and like you're definitely a source of inspiration and you you're like a muse for a lot of people what do people secretly think of you but won't say wow we have the knight of wands they think of you as somebody who has an active personal life like social life especially the people at your work they wonder what you do on your spare time like how do you spend your time how does pile number one spend their time when they're off work what do they do what do they like what do they listen to what kind of music what kind of shows what kind of you know they're just intrigued by you i'm gonna like a lot of people are intrigued by you they want to talk to you but they're kind of like intimidated as well because you have this powerful energy to you but you're also very attractive flamboyant okay but you also have this mysterious side to you okay so that's all i have for you my pal number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number one bye hi pal two welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pile number two you picked the black obsidian crystal and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings okay so my pal number two what do people secretly think of you but won't say what do people secretly think of you my pal number two but won't say what do we have here what do we have here Ooh, we have second house resources so you could have taurus in your chart people secretly think of you as somebody who is balling <laughs> you know that dipset song we uh so fun we ball and ball i'm probably not saying the right words but <laughs> this is what i'm getting here with the resources okay like you you're on like on point like your financial situation is on point this is what i'm getting here okay pal number two what we have the star okay pal number two people secretly think of you as an inspiration people want to get like you you're that guy you're that girl like everybody wants to be like you everybody wants to act like you <laughs> people want to like know what's your sauce what's your secret recipe you got that sauce pile number two <laughs> whether you know it or not you got it <laughs> we have to start you're definitely original authentic this is what people secretly think of you but they won't say you're extremely authentic wow we have the four of pentacles um people secretly think of you as somebody who is guarded mm -hmm. four of pentacle is like a reserved energy it's also penny pincher i'm not getting that vibe that you're a penny pincher or people secretly think that of you but they think that you're very reserved or closed off like you see how she's holding her purse close to her chest this is what i'm getting here like you're not really opening up to people especially to strangers like that what do people secretly think of you but they won't say my pal oh shoot <laughs> we have the ten of swords oh my god people secretly think of you as somebody who does not play games like when is like you will cut off somebody with swiftness uh, like you don't play that if somebody comes to you sideways you're not playing okay you're going to cut them off you see how she's walking away she has a back turn and she's moving forward this is what people secretly think of you like you're one false move and it, you're out like you're not going back and forth with this person you're not entertaining them it's just like yeah one false move and it's like this person's out this is what i'm getting here what do people secretly think of you but won't say we have the ten of pentacles i'm telling you financially you're doing well this is what people secretly think of you or they think that you're coming you come from a wealthy background 
you live a life of luxury that's what it looks like for people and people secretly think of you as somebody who who um could be an influencer with the star card or you have some sort of status like financial status or something that like you could be a millionaire with the ten of pentacles like you're resource like you have resources what do people secretly think of you but won't say what do people secretly think of you we have the death card and the strength card so we have leo and scorpio we have leo scorpio and um, aquarius okay so with the death card this energy is giving me the vibe that people secretly think of you as somebody who is mysterious alluring very sensual as well okay people want to Ooh, i'm not gonna say it <laughs> hey People want to take, get a bite out of you, okay? I'm just gonna say it like that, okay? So I'm gonna let you guys use your imagination. <laughs> but yeah, they find you extremely appealing. You may have caught people staring at you up and down, sizing you up, giving you those eyes, if you know what I mean, okay? And with the strength card, people secretly think of you as somebody who has healthy boundaries. You're very powerful. You're courageous, okay? You're strong. You don't, you walk to the beat of your own drums. That's what people secretly think of you, but they won't say. What do people secretly think of you? We have the ace of pentacles. Yeah, that you're financially stable or you are a great catch you're you're stable you bring a lot to the table with the ace of pentacles that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say what do people secretly think of you we have the sun yeah we have leo twice and we have aquarius but with the sun and the star like you shine extremely bright some people secretly think of you as a show-off as well because like i feel like maybe you like the finer things in life because you have the money to afford it. So you may like to, you know, dine at fancy restaurant. You may like to wear expensive jewelries, expensive clothes. You like to wear expensive makeup if you wear makeup, okay? Or like, you know, maybe you change your hairstyle every week or something. Let's say if you wear different weaves or different wigs or ponytails or whatever style that you like to do and you like to switch it up all the time and it costs money to take care of your hair all the time, okay? so if this is what you do some people feel like you're a show off because it's like they can't do it so they're hating on you because you can okay that's what they secretly think of you with the sun card because you shine bright like you might be the type of a woman or a man like when you walk into the room it's like we could all smell your fragrance you smell nice and some people you know maybe they might be allergic to the scent but I'm gonna for the most part it's like it's a beautiful smell like a beautiful scent and it just takes over the room that you walk in and some people may feel like you're show up because you always look nice your hair is done your nails is done it's like well why are you hating just take notes and do the same thing you know get your ish up get your money up you know be inspired but a lot of people view you as inspiration okay but you just have a few haters here and there saying that you're show off because they can't do it like you do okay that's their problem <laughs> not yours what do people secretly think of you we have the ace of cups yeah you have like healthy amount of self-love you know what i just heard um i'm conceited i got a reason um like uh, Remy ma conceited <laughs> some people might think you're conceited with the ace of cups okay because you love yourself it's like um who else am i supposed to love if it's not myself like if I don't love myself, who else is going to love me? Like, you know, you are a reflection of how you want people to treat you. So if you don't love you, how can you expect someone else to, you know? So what do people secretly think of you but won't say? What do people secretly think of you? Wow, we have the nine of swords in reverse. Like you're not worried. You you're not worried about a thing okay with the nine of swords like you're so confident in who you are some people are just mad like because they can't do it like you and that's their problem we have the queen of pentacles yeah financially independent financially abundant in like i feel like with the queen of pentacles you got it like that you're able to make moves that certain people can't so maybe like some of you could just go on a three-day vacation to you know cancun or something or to the dominicans or you know just to go to the islands or anywhere just for the weekend you're able to afford that because you created a lifestyle for yourself where you could just fly out without having to worry about the price 
and some people are upset with that you see you see that i said that down there trying to mess up with my ring lights you see those haters okay but still i was able to catch it before it fell okay <laughs> those haters what do people secretly think of you but won't say yeah we have the queen of wands yeah flamboyant some people think that you're cocky i'm not gonna lie because this is what i'm getting here i keep getting that energy because you're so confident in who you are you know what you're bringing <laughs> oh my god guys i can't make it up queen of wands again back to back okay <laughs> you have somebody you have someone who is livid they can't stand you every time like it could be a neighbor for some of you i'm gonna like heavy on neighbor or like a co-worker that is like dislike you because it's like you always like maybe you wear just different outfit it's like it's so it's just so original you just have your own style you have your own sense of fashion that cannot be duplicated because it's like it's not just a style it's who you are it's self-expression so it's not it can't be duplicated because you're expressing who you are you're not pretending to be something that you're not and some people are secretly feel some type of way about that. oh my god guys i can't make it up i can't make it up we have the empress uh some people secretly think of you as like you know a model with the empress energy but you're extremely beautiful whether you know it or not my pal number two you are extremely beautiful here with the empress energy you could be a taurus or a libra here but you're extremely uh very attractive okay and you know it that's why some people call you conceited they feel like you're too lucky <laughs> and it's not fair well take it up with god okay because that's what god had in store for you they can't be mad at something that was given to you by god we have the ace of pentacles again so people secretly think of you as somebody who has like a lot okay somebody who is just stable but brings a lot to the table as a person would be an amazing catch when it comes to relationship what do people secretly think of you yeah eight of wands like you t travel you're always on the go they secretly think of you as somebody who has like a very happy social life or you may have a lot of fun with your friends it's like always you're always traveling you're always you know doing things exploring the world there's no restriction no limitation with you what do people secretly think of you but won't say yeah you're like you're just so happy with the three of cups like you know you have a happy home life okay or social life or something like that with the three of cups like you're just always in a good mood always laughing smiling some people don't like that because they're miserable because they're miserable they want everybody to be miserable with them okay wow guys i can't make it up okay i can't make it up like we have the three of cups the star again guys the star is here twice okay you are somebody that is very like unique you're just different like there's no other way to put this that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say like they can't figure you out they can't pinpoint you they can't categorize you they can't restrict you in a box because you're just so unique you're so different you're original and you're authentic to who you are you're not a gimmick you're not playing games you're not pretending you're not trying to fit in you're just being yourself and it's like undeniable here okay and with the three of cups you know happy vibes happy vibes all the time we have the hair font people secretly think of you as somebody who is a wise counselor we also have resources here so that's taurus's house and we have the empress so we have taurus three times we also have a libra as well so yeah you could be any of those signs don't have to be you could just have that energy you could just embody that energy don't have to be that exact sign so what do people secretly think of you but won't say what do people secretly think of you but won't say queen of pentacles again yeah you're extremely independent self-sufficient reliable trustworthy especially when it comes to workplace you are definitely a trustworthy individual people could count on you to deliver to get things done and get things done properly in the right manner we have the chariot structured and disciplined strong will determined i'm gonna your determination is on point here with the chariot that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say 
you inspire a lot of people more than you know people that even people that pretend not to see you not to pay attention to you are inspired by you you make them want to change you make them want to uh step up their game whenever they see you whenever you step into your a room it's like all eyes on you my pile number two people can't stop staring people can't stop like you know uh fantasizing admiring you and like yeah there is a hint of envy here for sure this is what i'm getting here what do people secretly think of you but won't say what do people secretly think of you yeah we have the king of wands king of wands queen of wands people secretly think of you as somebody who has a really good balance of feminine and masculine energy but that conceited energy keeps coming out again i don't know why i'm getting that guys but some people they secretly think that you are conceited because like you know what you bring to the table you know your worth like you don't shy away from responsibility as well you don't shy away from the attention okay because we have the star here being twice and you also have the sun okay so you shine very brightly here and you're not afraid to step into your power so some people they're not comfortable with that they some people they're not comfortable with powerful people they're not comfortable with confident people and they're not comfortable with people that are comfortable in their skin so it's like they want you to be uncomfortable because they're not comfortable whatever they are projecting they want you to experience that and because you have healthy boundaries you're not playing those games with these people you're not going to let nobody lower your vibration just because they're unhappy this is what I'm getting here. And people secretly don't like that about you as well. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the tree agate crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number three. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? What do people secretly think of you, my pile number three, but won't say? Okay. What do we have here for you? We have the sun. Okay, you may have Leo in your chart. Okay. This is what people secretly think of you as somebody who shines brightly, somebody who is in the spotlight, very extremely confident. I don't know why I heard zesty. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know i never use that word but i heard zesty okay <laughs> that's what people secretly think of you but won't say what do people secretly think of you my pal number three but won't say we have the three of cups very friendly amicable positive radiant uh welcoming that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say you have this flamboyant uh personality or you shine so brightly, people are drawn to you. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? Okay, that's too many cards. We have the Six of Pentacles, but there's too many other cards that fell. I won't pick them. So with the Six of Pentacles, people secretly think of you as somebody who is charitable, with a big heart, very giving, loving, okay? This is what I'm getting here. Some people, they may try to take advantage of you, but you're very wise, I'm getting. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? We have the nine of pentacles, high maintenance. People secretly think of you as high maintenance. Like you have people that don't want to approach you because they feel like they can't afford you or they can't afford to be on your level. Like if you are a woman, like you're so, <clears throat> wow, they don't want me to talk. If you are a woman, you're so um, self-sufficient, abundant, um, you're independent, 
you have your own thing, you live a life of luxury, you may live in a condo or you live in your own house, whether it is rented or own, you're able to you know, maintain your lifestyle that you have without no worry, without no support, without any help from others. This is what I'm getting here and people secretly think that you're just too high maintenance for them or you're just out of their league. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? Yeah, we have the Hermit card that fell out, Virgo energy, and we have Virgo twice because Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. You're just so self-sufficient, my pal, number three. Like, you're just somebody who could do all by yourself with the Hermit. You're very observant. You may have, like, a strict diet or a strict routine with the Hermit card. So even if it's just walking every day, okay, like, at a specific time, you do it all the time it's like you're so disciplined when it comes to your walk when it comes to your health like people secretly think that of you but they won't say and they feel like they can't keep up especially when it comes to lovers they feel like they can't step up to you because they don't have the stamina they don't have the drive to um keep up with that lifestyle that you currently have for yourself we have the ten of cups some people secretly think of you as somebody who has an amazing family or have great family values and that you could be a great spouse if you are single for a lot of you i feel like you guys might be okay wow you are wish fulfillment uh for a lot of people but you're just out of people's league my pal number three this is what i'm getting here high maintenance and out of people's leagues people feel like they can't measure up to you they can't measure up to your success they don't feel like they're qualified to step to you what do people secretly think of you we have the ace of cups very loving or you have a healthy amount of self-love or your self-esteem is very high so you're unbreakable unpenetrable with the ace of cups this is what people secretly uh, think of you but won't say yeah we have temperance even um like even tempered balanced calm cool and collected under pressure okay this is what i'm getting here what do people secretly think of you but won't say we have the seven of pentacles that flew out what do people secretly think of you okay that's so many cards but with the seven of pentacles i'm getting like you are somebody who is grounded somebody who is worth investing in though this is what i'm getting here even though you may come off as high maintenance or like i'm getting like someone who deserves who has high standards as well this is what i'm getting here people secretly think of you as somebody who has like very high standards that they feel like is unattainable for them it's not that it's unattainable for you it's just unattainable for them and they feel like you know like I said, you're out of their league. They can't. They can't reach you. They can't meet up those expectations because they don't have those expectations for themselves. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? We have the six of swords. Yeah, you're the type of person that will move to calmer waters. That will drop anything or anyone that no longer serves them to move on to something better like you're more nonchalant or more laid back when it comes to challenges of life like you don't really let anybody get to you get to your head or make you feel some type of way for choosing yourself first or putting yourself first with the six of swords like you're not afraid of like you know just moving on to the next if somebody's not treating you correctly or not meeting your expectations we have the six of wands victorious Ooh, this is what i'm getting here but i'm also getting like an energy of being like a show off some people secretly think that of you but they won't see you know it's all stems from the jealousy that they have because you're you um you're high maintenance you have high standards and you could back it up like it's not like you have high standards but then you don't have nothing to offer you do have amazing things to offer like you're financially stable you're you're mentally sound okay you're not demanding you're not needy you're able to manage your emotions there's a lot of things that you're able to do that you bring to the table that is going to make a relationship go uh smoothly where it's going to be pleasant for the other party because we have the hierophant yeah we have the three teachers the hermit the temperance and the Hierophant, three, the three teachers of the Zodiac. So with this energy here is giving me with the Hierophant, people secretly think of you as someone who is a wise counselor. You're very patient, understanding, compassionate. This is what people secretly think of you, but they won't say. And you may be traditional as well. 
with the hair font and that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say and this is why they see you a lot of people may see you as marriage material too but some people may see you like as a show off with the six of wands wow we have the star the star came out for all three piles so what do people secretly think of you but won't say i have to cover it so i won't show it as of yet yeah we have the seven of wands some people okay we have the star so they definitely think of you as somebody who's original authentic okay different inspiring vibrant or someone who is destined to be in the spotlight and it makes sense because we also have the sun here the sun will shine regardless if you like it or not whether you are wearing sunglasses or not okay the sun is going to shine whether you like it okay so this is what i'm getting here you want to shine like you're somebody who shines regardless of how other people feel regardless of what you wear because the the, your ray of light is not something that comes from the outside it's something that's come from in the inside and it's shining and it's shining outward outwardly oh my god i can't even speak so it's all going to talk man i'm telling you they're hating and now we have the seven of wands okay some people secretly think of you as somebody who might have like very strong boundaries because you have high standards since you have high standards you have expectations and your expectation is that if somebody wants to be in the real life they have to treat you a, a specific type of way and because you expect them to treat you a specific type of way you are not going to tolerate anything less than and if somebody comes with less than energy you will drop them like a bad habit with the seven of wands or you won't even allow them in your energy field this is what i'm getting here and this is what people secretly think of you but they won't say with the seven of wands here what do people see wow six of wands i'm telling you wow like you're meant to be in the spotlight you you get a lot of attention with the six of wands okay you're very popular or like you just um Ooh, some people may think attention seeking that like you may like the attention that you're getting because you shine so bright with the six of wands being here twice you're highly celebrated people flock to you and some people just don't like that what do people secretly think of you but won't say what do people secretly think of you we have the ace of pentacles yeah you're you're a great catch with the ace of pentacles you bring a lot to the table you're something that is like um you're someone that is worth investing in i keep saying that because the seven of pentacles is here as well so you're worth investing in we have the queen of wands okay very confident energy beautiful exotic with the queen of wands self-assured self-confident so that's what people secretly think of you but won't say we have the ten of cups again extremely happy positive vibe family oriented Okay, maybe your family is extremely important to you. You place a lot of value in your what you bring to like your family. Your family values are very important. Your family oriented. That's what people secretly think of you, but they won't say. They may have noticed the way that you treat your family, the way that you talk to your parents, or maybe the way that you talk to you know your children if you have any children. But it's what people secretly think of you, but they won't say. And they also think that you're somebody who would be a great parent too if you don't have any children what do people secretly think of you but won't say what do people secretly think of you my pal number three we have the queen of swords okay some people may secretly think of you as somebody who is stoic as well like you don't play that yeah i keep getting like you don't play those games with people with the queen of swords like you tell it like it is like it is somebody is not treating you correctly because of your standards you're going to let them know and you're going to either expect them to change their behavior or if you're just not feeling it like that you're just gonna drop them like a bad habit and move on to the next until you find somebody who is worthy of worthy of your time your energy okay what do people secretly think of you but won't say yeah like people secretly think that you're indifferent with the two of swords like you don't pay them no mind like you know like i said like if it's not if it's not giving that's what i heard if it's not giving you're not investing <laughs> okay this is what i'm hearing <laughs> you're not if it's not giving you and investing so with the two of swords like you act nonchalant or just unavailable we have the knight of pentacles i'm getting like you're prudent 
that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say and it makes sense because you also have the hermit here which is a prudent energy cautious energy so that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say that you're extremely prudent here with the knight of pentacles but you're reliable you're a trustworthy individual but you tread lightly with others maybe because of past experiences that you've had so you know that people cannot just be trusted at face value you have to you know do your little investigation or trust your intuition whenever something does not feel right we have the death card scorpio energy okay so you are extremely resilient this is what people secretly think of you, but they won't say. They also view you as someone who is very uh, powerful, could be intimidating as well. This is what I'm getting here. That's what people secretly think of you, but they won't say. We have the magician, highly skilled and talented, articulate. This is what people secretly think of you, but they won't say with the magician energy. This is Gemini and Virgo energy. We have Virgo here already. So Virgo twice. Meticulous, I'm getting with your approach to life or do your approach to how you do certain things. A great communicator. Master manifester, I'm getting. What do people secretly think of you? My pal number three, but won't say. What do people secretly think of you? We have the we have judgment. Okay, I have to hide the card because of the Im imagery. So people secretly think of you as somebody who is a great judge of character as well. You're able to analyze a situation, a call out judgment on someone or something. This is what I'm getting here with the judgment card. And that's what people secretly think of you, but they won't say, like, you're a great judge of character. This is what I'm getting here. You're sound, you, you make sound judgment on people. And you're normally, I'm mean, like, 95% of the time you're right about something or someone whenever you call out judgment on it. Okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye.